The next color change that we're going to learn is one of the building blocks of card magic. Okay, maybe I'm a bit overdoing it, but every card magician knows it. And it's called the Cardini change. It looks like this from the back. You're just snapping your fingers. And you can change the card back or not. You can, from there, palm this card, which I didn't do such a good job at it, and put it back. There's many things you can actually do from this position. You can put the card on the bottom, execute another change, and there's so many ways you can play with it, you can do it invisibly. So, not only is this a color change, but it's also a utility move. And a utility move is a tool that you can use in a variety of ways. Okay, enough of the chatter, let me show you guys how to actually do it. You're going to execute a double lift, that's the first thing. So, execute your best double lift. As you might have noticed, I executed a horrible double lift that I did over there. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, but the cards, usually you want to have like two very contrasting cards to have a beautiful color change. And we're going to be using our pinky finger for this. And the thumb and the pinky finger do everything. The thumb is the one that actually stops all of the other cards from coming together with this card when we pull it down. When I pull it down, but the card goes up, you know. So you need to have a part of the chunk of meat from the thumb laying across the packet. So if you put your thumb over there, it should be good. You know, just put your thumb there and in time you can just drag it a bit so there's a bit more meat covering the corner. Once you have that, you're basically sitting in this position with the pinky at the corner and you're going to pull it down similar to what we did over here when we pulled the card in an injog. You're just pulling it down and notice that if you do it slowly, it should actually be stopped by the thumb. And once you pull enough, it's just going to flick out like this. So you cover it with your hand because you want to cover that card so the spectator can't see it. And you're going to flick your finger like this. And instantly the card will change. From this position, you can bring the card back like that. So you have a, a change front and back. One and two. You can do that by just bringing your fingers back to their initial position. Or the other one and the most used is when you bring the card to the bottom. And you do this, after you flick the card, you grab the deck in biddle grip with your right hand, and in this position is where your fingers are. So what you're going to do from here is basically just move your hand towards the left, and you'll notice that the card goes on the bottom. And then you're going to rotate the packet by just twisting your wrist towards the inside and grabbing that part. So it goes one, biddle grip and then I move my hand with the fingers towards the left and you'll notice that this will allow you to just put the card on the bottom so once you put the card on the bottom you're just gonna rotate the packet and complete the color change just like that and as I said previously you can use the, this, this color change for a variety of things after you do it here you can steal the card from underneath and do a color change like three color changes you can do it once and move your pinky back and do it again. So whenever you learn a move, it's very important to start playing with it. There's many other magicians that I've played with them, but it's, there's nothing better than discovering an idea by yourself.